What's up guys, so we go 24, a quick look at the Curry 9 Flow, or the Curry Flow 9, yeah. Anyway, white box, iridescent symbol, little Curry symbol, Curry on the side, symbol, Sesame Street, 10 and a half, get in here, um, black and purple, that's all it says. Tissue paper, yellow box on the inside, Sesame Street logo, blah, blah, blah. Then we got Curry stickers with the, with the Sesame Street characters. And then, of course, the goat stuff. Knock that out of the way. And bada bing, bada boom. Stepped into this one just for a second. Stood around in it for just a second when I got it. Uh, felt pretty good, just first impression. Um, feels like it's got good bite. And the traction and everything. Pretty aggressive traction up front with little holes and dips and cuts in it. And then the spiral, I call it the G.I. Joe Cobra pattern in the back. And of course, the uh, torsion plates there with the Under Armour and the Curry Signature. And the midsole is the flow material. This is the flow concept, or the and where the foam is the midsole and the sole of the shoe. And I like how it wraps up all aggressive on the midsole. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Kyrie's in a way. Then it's kind of more tame here in the front with the speckles. I like it. Black and green speckles over the purple. I would say it's pink but purple and then you see the pink and green woven into the black mesh <clears throat> feels like a strong strong durable mesh so yes yeah, step in comfort uh decent amount of cushion not a lot uh definitely would be a responsive like guard type shoe i think i'm gonna like it in that aspect um Steps in, it's real secure, lockdown doesn't seem to be a problem. A uh, little tight, uh, true to size for sure. Maybe go up half a size, do not go down. Be a nice uh, running shoe shape and feel to it with the tongue and not the booty this year. And the, I guess it's the Reminds me of the lining on the cape of the of the count or whatever. This is the count colorway from Sesame Street, obviously. Flow there. See, so yeah, pretty dope. <clears throat> I do like the a pattern on the lining, Sesame Street on the insole. But yeah, like how the shoe's pretty much black with just little hits of that green and pinkish purple color. <coughs> With the speckles and the wild pattern there. And then the green on the tongue looks nice. Just those little hits here and there look real nice to me. So yeah. Uh, the performance on the MB01. The Mellow Ball signature. Great shoe. Except. <coughs> excuse me. The traction. Just. Picks up dust and dust and dust and dust and wipe, wipe, wipe. It just was super annoying. So I did grab these. Under Armour, why did you make this so hard to get? And also, Breeze was ridiculous on these. Like, uh, some pairs are just astronomical. And this one was 218 on Goat, which I thought was bad enough. And the one pair that I liked, I forget the name of the colorway, was like 250. But anyway, when they start paying us fees, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I mean, you need to make these more readily available. People want to hoop and they want to hoop in good shoes, and this looks like one. So, yeah, hopefully, <coughs> when I take this one out for a spin on court, uh, the traction bite, and I'll, I think I'll be happy with it because it seems like the fit and the cushion is going to be nice. So, yeah, let me uh, know what you guys think. Are you frustrated as I was frustrated when I started looking for this shoe because you can't find it hardly anywhere and you can't find it at a decent price either. Um, I wish it was about 190 not like 220 That would have been great. And they jumped up to like 250 after I bought mine, so I'm glad I got them when I did. 
anyway, uh, Soy Ghost 24, let me know what you guys think, let me up on the gram, Soy Ghost 24, and I'm out.